Coffeezilla is not a criminal. I called him, I apologized. Uh, my initial response to his series was that of, of, of fire, uh, an ego, flair, whatever it is, pride. I'm a fighter at heart. You see what happens when you let your emotions control you? You make impulsive decisions. And when you make impulsive decisions, that's funny, impulsive. <laughs> when you make impulsive decisions, you look like an idiot. And then you got to make these apology videos. And uh, I was defensive because I know I never scammed anyone with this project. I never made any money, never sold any tokens, and I only had the best intentions going in. Um, okay, don't say you never scammed anyone. You didn't. Well, you didn't steal anybody's money. You could have, but you didn't. And uh, as far as his intentions going in, it was all about the money, not really about the community. Not as much about the community as it was about the money. And uh, let's see. But the fact is, the suing CoffeeZilla is not going to help CryptoZoo holders, so I do need to focus my attention where it should be, which is on fans and supporters of me. You guys mean the world to me, so I'd like to announce my three-step plan moving. My only concern, my only concern is that he's changing his opinion when he sees, like, like basically his community kind of holds him accountable, and he, and he sees that, oh, I kind of need to change my marketing gears. That's the only thing that got me a little suspicious about it. Like, are you doing it? Because of marketing? Are you doing it because your PR team told you to be wise to? Or are you doing it because you genuinely want to change for yourself? All right. Aiden Ross, he lost, you could say he lost everything at this point. Like a, a lot, a, a big part of his life, he's lost. And he's, he took it on the chin. And he's going to keep doing what he's got to do. Logan Paul, on the other hand, I am doubtful a little bit on his attentions to doing it. But the most important thing is that regardless of how we feel that he gets it done. That's it. Forward. Step one, Jeff and I are going to burn our zoo tokens so we have no financial upside in the game and it will add value to holder tokens. Step two, uh, we want to offer a rewards program for players who are disappointed in the status of the game. So essentially you're gonna be able to burn your, your base egg uh, or your base animal for the mint price, which was 0 0.1 ETH or the equivalent in BNB. I am- Just hella fucking expensive, I'm not gonna lie. Personally committing a thousand ETH to this, which is about $1.3 million um, right now for players who want to get out. And then step three, Obviously, finish and deliver the game as outlined in the white paper by completing the uh, egg bridge from ETH to BSC for base animals and base eggs, completing the marketplace, and, and obviously completing the releasing your animals into the wild to accrue your yield function. To say I am disappointed in how this was handled internally is an understatement. Um, there's a full internal investigation going on along with an audit. A part of me feels like he's reading from a script. Um, I, it doesn't really feel genuine, but it is what it is. You know, like at the end of the day, as long as he takes full self accountability for his actions is still a big W. And as long as he just, he doesn't just say it and he actually does it. All right. So, you know, one of the things he mentioned, right, was finishing up the game, uh, putting 1.3 million ETH, uh, $1.3 million of ETH into the game for p players to go out. I want to see people like actually go out and and if, since CoffeeZilla covered this, I'd expect CoffeeZilla to sit here and and do a follow up on Logan Paul because that would show that that would prove that CoffeeZilla's investigations are actually beneficial to the community. Uh, what are you guys saying? If you put Andrew Tate into an Antichrist calculator, it comes out six six six. Beware, okay. I don't even tune into Logan Paul, man. Dude seems like a lost cause. I think he's got a strong mentality. I'm not going to lie. He he can really overcome many different things. He did he did fight Floyd Mayweather. You know, he he got into the ring with KSI two two different times. I I think he's been through enough struggle, suffering and pain to to be able to understand the difference between like um uh, like, you know, taking self-accountability and progressing forward through self-growth. I think he really can come back from a redemption arc. Him wearing that blue shirt ain't really helping his blue pill cause, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, th I think the community, you know, red pill Logan Paul. We are going to pursue full legal action for whomever needs to be held accountable. If any money is recovered in the process, it'll go right to the community. My sole obligation is to my supporters, and um, I know this video is long overdue. Here it is. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I apologize um, for, for how this has unfolded thus far. And I want people to know that they can trust me and that I'll always take care of the fans and people who support me. Uh, I appreciate your guys' patience while we do our internal investigation. And I promise to be transparent and disclose any information we find out in the process. And lastly, 
thank you, CoffeeZilla. Um, you have catalyzed this, and I am very grateful for your work and your investigation. And I mean that. Thank you, bro. Yo, W CoffeeZilla, bro. W, w CoffeeZilla. You know what he can do to take it a step further? Is actually have CoffeeZilla on Impulsive. Um, or actually, no, no. You know what? Logan Paul goes on CoffeeZilla. I Zilla's, almost met Quentin Tarantino. CoffeeZilla's uh, um, thing. And, you know, talks to all the people that were affected by this. I'm not going to lie. Like, that, 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 that would be a good next step. So, you know, you guys have every right to doubt Logan, doubt Logan Paul and not trust Logan Paul. You do. You have every right to. At the end of the day, like, you know, like Aiden, like Aiden Ross says, all right, look at the positive outcome. Even if you don't like Logan Paul, fine. That's fair enough. You don't like Logan Paul. Cool. But look at, you know, learn the lessons so that you don't make the same mistakes. All right? Acting out of emotion, you know, reactions. You got to be very aware of these things. You got to be very, very aware of being frustrated and making yourself a victim and having this kind of victim mentality. When the world, the world, the world is holding you accountable, as a man, the consequences are right in front of you. You have to change. You have to change. Because, to be completely honest, in this world, in today's age, women don't have, don't have the same amount of, of consequences when it comes to accountability as men do. They don't. But we do. We have to. So that's why we have to learn from the people that we watch. Facts of cap, guys. Facts of cap. Agree, agree. Big W. He's taking full accountability for the mess. Just got a follow through on it. Exactly. Scam of the year. Logan Paul wasn't lying when he proved he had holes in his brain. Oh, my God. Why didn't he put this on his YouTube but chose Twitter? Yeah, that's, that's true, too. That's true, too. I, I wish he had posted it on his YouTube where there's, like, 21 million people. And that's why I'm, I'm saying, like, <laughs> it seems like he flip-flopped. You know, he got a lot of pressure off the community. His PR team is probably telling him something. He looked like he was reading off a script. It didn't feel too genuine, and you know, it's it's all maybe maybe we're also like a little emotional and just like yeah, we don't believe you, bro. We don't believe you. You got to prove it now. You 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 lost a lot of your integrity. You got to you got to build it back up. So you know the the building back of Logan Paul. Let's see. 